G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you again. It's been a little while since I made a fishing video. I went up to Teawood Beach recently and got a few dart, had a good time, made a couple of videos, a couple of camping videos. Check out my channel, 4x4 Track Oz, Overlanding Australia, for those. Also, I've made a couple of fishing videos and I'm just editing the first one now. The first video is about how I use my Garmin, Garmin Overlander my nav, nav man to set waypoints in relation to all, all the um, the potential gutters, the potential fishing gutters. So I was camping at Tiwa Beach. I fished a high tide first thing in the morning because it was high tide first thing in the morning and I didn't have any gutters. Waited till probably two to three hours after the high tide and I went for a drive. And well, rather than me tell you about it, let's ha take a look at how I set waypoints when I'm at Teal Beach. Once we've had a look at that, I'll come back and I'll walk you through how I look at a gutter, how I pick a gutter, and um, a little bit about what I see in the potential of a gutter where I fish uh, when it comes to gutters and things like that. So that'll be the second half of the video. First half of the video, let's take a look at that now. So I'm here for a week. Today's my first fishing day. Yesterday was a travel day, set up camp. Settle in, ludge. What I'm doing now is I'm just driving south on Tiwa Beach toward Noosa North Shore, looking for gutters. And when I find a gutter, I'm not fishing it. My primary purpose today is to find the gutters that I think will work and um, put waypoints in on my Garmin. And here's one right now that I think is quite long. This one's not too bad at all, actually. So what I do is, I won't just put one wide point in because at high tide you can't see it. So what I do is I put both ends and the middle. So I'll have either two or three. If it's only a short gutter, it'll be two. And if it's a long gutter, there'll be three, three waypoints. So this is where it enters, right here. So this will be my first waypoint. Do one in the middle, one at the end. So that's where we are there. I want to add waypoint. And I'll give this one a name. This is the second. Uh, so I'll go two. It's the second one that I've marked from camp south. So I'll go south. And this is a long gutter with three marks. So, and it's quite a a good gutter, so I'll put medium depth rather than shallow gutter. So medium, and that's my title for the waypoint. Second gutter, it's south of camp, and it's medium gutter. So you can see my three waypoints there, and that's how I know this is quite a long gutter, where the gutter starts, where the gutter finishes. So at high tide, when I come back, I don't have to look. Well, that was how I find a waypoint and set a waypoint on the Garmin Overlander. The Garmin Overlander, very, very good bit of kit. Well worth having a look at if you're in travel. I wouldn't be buying it just for going up the beach and setting your waypoints. Definitely wouldn't be buying it just for that. A very expensive bit of kit if that's all you're going to do with it. If you're going to travel around Australia, see lots of places, do lots of cool things, go to lots of different fishing spots, well then it may be worth you having a look at the Garmin Overlander. That said, there are plenty of other applications that you can get on your phone that you can do exactly that. You can set your waypoints so that all the waypoints um, are very easily accessed at high tide when, they are, when, the, when the gutters are a lot harder to pick. They're not impossible to pick, but they're definitely harder to pick. So think about setting waypoints at low tide so that you don't have to go hunting too hard and high tide. Now, the second part of the video. Before we move on to the second part of the video, let me just run through the, a little bit more about waypoints just to finish it off. As you can see here, I've got, got the camera on my Garmin. I'm just exploding it out, making it a little bit bigger so you can see that I've set waypoints. This is at the top end of Tiwa Beach. You can see I don't just set a couple of waypoints. I do my best to go up and down the beach and find all the gutters that I think are really going to work well. 
way more gutters than I'll probably ever fish in the week that I'm there. But um, I want them all there because when I'm at a gutter for 15, 20 minutes and nothing happens in that 15, 20 minutes, I'll move to the second gutter or the next gutter and you'll find you might use, we'll go through 10 gutters before you find fish. Now, gutters. Now you can see I've taken the drone up here. You can see our car's right down the bottom right hand corner. Just flying over this gutter here, you can see the waves crashing over the outer sandbank. That outer sandbank is where all the food comes from for the fish that swim on the inside or the shallower part of that gutter on the inside between the two sandbanks. Then now, when I say shallow, if you walked out at low tide in this particular gutter, you'd probably have about a metre to a metre twenty of water. So there's still a substantial amount of water in this gutter, particularly on the entrances and the exits. And as we fly toward one of the exits of this gutter, you can see as that pushes out, that's where you'd know, well, when you hear people talk about rips, that's where the rip would be. But that's also one of my favorite fishing spots. To throw into this area, that's where all the turbulence is. There's waves crashing over both sides of that sandbank and pushing food into that narrow track that runs into the gutter. And that's where you'll find fish. So they're the sort of locations in gutters that I like to try. So I'll try the points, that's the bends around the, the, the tips when, the, when that um, entrance comes in. So those bends are handy, lots of food washes in there, and also where it rips out on both sides of those, those close banks, I'll try there. So you can fish right in close to your feet, you can fish right out wide in those rip areas. So as you move further down and look further down into this picture, you can see that there's gutters all the way down the beach. And that's what I've been marking off as waypoints or waypoints in the Garmin. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you're interested in camping, check out my other channel, 4x4 Track Oz, Overlanding Australia. If you haven't already, hit the like button on this video for me and subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next video. Take care.